When it comes to this leadership race, you know, a lot of times we stand back and say, what if these guys actually had to run a legitimate business? How would they fare if they had to cut the check and were responsible for all of that? It's a sobering thought, and to that end, we thought we'd get Jay Rosenzweig in here. He's a leading senior executive search, or uh, heads a, a leading executive search firm in Toronto, a headhunter, in other words, to assess the three major candidates. Jay, good to have you on the Oakley Show this morning. Happy to be here. Thanks, John. Uh, John, just to frame this for you in terms of our perspective, we at Rosenzweig and Company are in the business, really, of injecting leadership into the corporate world so that these companies can positively move forward. So we thought it might be an interesting exercise to look at Paul Martin and Stephen Harper and Jack Layton, uh, really the same way we would look at candidates for a CEO's job at a big bank or some other company. Um, so no real political bias here, access to grind. Um, our client for a CEO search is really the board of directors. So in this case, the client would be the Canadian electorate. And um, as everybody knows, from a headhunter's prism or, or anyone else's really, Paul Martin, Stephen Harper, and Jack Layton bring to the table very, very different qualities. All right. So your assessment in a nutshell, who would make the best CEO? Well, I'm going to look at the uh, campaign really closely. I'm going to watch the leaders and listen to what they say. And after this long, long campaign, uh, I'll then determine really in my mind who I think is best qualified for the job. Really, if you were to press me uh, and ask me who I think is best right now, mm -hmm. uh, my recommendation would be, and we, we actually uh, wrote a paper on this, which uh, the National Post picked up yesterday, we think that Canada's CEO should be hired really on an interim basis if you were to push us at this point. Well, he, the, the last one had been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in fact, in fact, that's quite right, uh, you know. When, uh, in, when you're recommending uh, an inter on an interim basis to hire uh, the next leader of this country, you really, when you're talking about a minor minority government, in effect, that's what we have. You're, you're absolutely correct. And I'm guessing it's yeah. because circumstances change. There's always a state of flux on the, the national landscape, so one man might be ready uh, and appropriate for a certain time, whereas exactly. the other might be more appropriate in another time. I, I, I think that's absolutely right. You know, if you look back to the Trudeau era, you know, one might look at Trudeau as that philosopher and scholar who was appropriate for the great uh, social and constitutional upheaval of that time. And then we immediately went to the more business-savvy, let's say, negotiator during the Mulroney era, which really saw the expansion of global free trade, not to minimize Trudeau's negotiating skills or the effect Mulroney had on the constitutional front, but you're absolutely right. And, and uh, from a business perspective, one can say the same thing. You see at CIBC, at John Hunkin, an investment banker as CEO at one point, and, and then Gerald McGaughy, who brings more of a traditional approach to banking uh, for a different kind of era. Jay Rosenzweig is with us. He's an executive headhunter with a firm here in Toronto. We're handicapping the leading uh, candidates here in the election. But uh, who has the best resume, Jay? Well, uh, it, it's really um, everybody brings pros and cons to the table. Uh, Paul Martin certainly is long on experience as a CFO and a CEO in both government and business. But as you know, there lingers this guilt by association with the sponsorship scandal, perhaps unfairly, but really on the other hand, if he didn't know what was going on, how many other things did he miss as well? well uh, it may, maybe that's what you meant by the cons being brought to the table. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and in closing, I mean, Jack Layton, would he be the, the head of the company, but then also form a union strike and drive that company out of business? <laughs> well, you're absolutely right. Jack Layton is someone who is, is absolutely quite passionate about what he does, and passion is sometimes a two-edged sword. Um, you know, he appears very strong in his convictions, but he fights this perception, as you alluded to, that he is cavalier, as witnessed by, for example, his comments that blame Mr. Martin for the deaths of homeless people in Toronto. So you, one needs to be very careful with... with um, that kind of uh, leadership style. Uh, and if we were to move over to a Stephen Harper type individual, certainly uh, he has this image of being cerebral, uh, but communication skills are very important when one is leading a business. Um, and, you know, it's something very essential to a leader. And I'm just not sure if he has that kind of um, charisma, or he's certainly no Bill Clinton, uh, put it that way. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the best thing he's got going for him. Uh, <laughs> appreciate it, Jay. We'll let you go, and we'll watch this one with interest as well. Well, thanks very much. It's a pleasure being on. Thank you. All right. Jay Rosenzweig, a leading senior executive search firm here in Toronto that he heads as a head hunter. We're getting to Don Duloff, our fearless gourmet, just around the bend on the Oakley Show at AM640 Toronto Radio 816. Over to Paul Cross for an update at the AM640.